What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Calvin, and um. Wait, shit. Back for another YouTube video, man. So, hey, it's been a minute, man. As you already know, my nigga, like, Miss Corona is in the building, you feel me? But, hey, that's pretty good that some of us are still alive. I pray for these sick ones. Um, the ones whose family members are, like, affected. I pray that all goes on well, you feel me? But, hey, Putting that aside, y'all read the title, so y'all basically know what we're doing today, right? So, what we're doing today is basically simple, man. We're gonna be reacting to the things that you're not supposed to do in Thailand, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I really wanted to go, like, to, um, I wanted to take a vacation somewhere, like, when I get the money, pull it to Thailand, because it got, Thailand got some nice places, right? We all know that. So, I wanted, like, to take a vacation, and you feel me? You have to first Google something and see what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do, you feel me? But hey, make sure y'all smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, my name is Calvin Charles and welcome to my channel. Get me to 10,000 subscribers, man. I'll be grateful. But hey, um, share this video and follow me on Instagram. Either than that, let's get into it. Thailand is often called the land of smiles. However, that does not mean that you shouldn't be versed in some of the local customs before visiting. Here are 12 things not to do in Thailand. Number one, don't hug monks. I'm lost, I'm lost. But hey, can somebody please tell me who monks are like in Thailand? Hey, who are monks? You feel me? Tell me who the monks are, cause I'm scared. If you can't hug certain people like it. You'll find the monks are super friendly, but hands off, please. Monks are not allowed to touch. <laughs> Man say, but hands off, please. Women, even on buses, monks are not allowed to sit directly next to a woman. It is also. What? Um, I need some of y'all to comment down and tell me uh, what, uh, like, what role do these monks play in uh, Thailand and, like, why is it so you feel me because i'm literally lost right now and i would really love to know why forbidden to stand over or be positioned higher than a monk two never use your feet what feet are considered the lowest dirtiest part of the body in many asian cultures so do not hold doors open with your feet i get it now i get it now <laughs> Point your feet towards the Buddha images or angle your feet towards people. Be especially mindful of your feet position when you're sitting or eating on the floor. 3. Don't disrespect the royal family. You will see many... Yeah, that's for sure, my nigga, like, even here, my nigga, like, uh, like, it, it ain't cool, you feel me? To disrespect the royal family, so yeah, I'm with y'all on that. Is commemorating them throughout the country and it is disrespectful mm -hmm. to say anything negative about them. Don't stomp on a Thai coin as it rolls away as you're not only disrespecting the crown but also breaking rule two. Never use your feet. Four, don't take your clothes off. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, hey, listen, man. So if I happen to go to Thailand with a... Uh, with my shorty, you feel me? Like, if, if I'm taking like a vacation to Thailand with my honey, man, so she ain't got, she ain't got like to take her clothes off. Even in summer, cause it's really hot as hell, you feel me? So, I don't think I'm with y'all on this point. Walking around town in beach attire is considered impolite. Be extra conscious of your attire when visiting temples. Dress preferably in white and women should wear long skirts or pants and have their shoulders covered. Five, avoid pointing with your fingers. I kind of agree to this one because in my culture, like pointing to people with your fingers, that's uh, is some sort of like disrespect. So yeah, I'm kind of with you on this one. When hailing for a tuk-tuk or beckoning a waiter, do not point your fingers up. Never clap, snap your fingers or whistle to get someone's attention as Ty is regarded akin to calling a dog. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, I got a friend of mine who's um who's known like to whistling my nigga while calling people. Hey, my nigga, you know yourself. Hey, we're not dogs, you feel me? You only whistle to dogs, so stop whistling to people. I agree to this one, man. Six. Don't touch a Thai's head. Thais see the head as the highest part of the body, so refrain from ruffling people's hair. If you happen to by accident, apologize immediately. Thai people will sometimes pat a child on the head, but as a Westerner, it's best not to. Now if you stomp on a coin, you'll be breaking three rules. Seven, can't take Buddha pictures out of Thailand. It is technically illegal to take or send any pictures of Buddha out of the country. What? Okay, like, no, no, hey, not, to, not to sound offensive, but like, why? I mean, if, if I want to send a photo like of Buddha to like, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I don't, I don't think this is, this is normal, because people take photos of like other um, religious leaders, you feel me? Like, photos of God and they send them, but I'm surprised. Three. Nonetheless, many shop owners will still try to sell you pictures and many tourists snap selfies in front of sacred Buddha statues. Just be discreet and respectful about it. Thank you very much. 8. Don't lose your temper. Thais have a philosophy of keeping their cool. Jai Yen. Thais see raising one's voice as bad form, so don't get frustrated. My pen rai, as the locals say. 9. Don't eat with a fork. There are... I actually want to learn how to eat using the chopsticks, my nigga, you feel me? I really want to learn, yeah. No specific dining time, so visitors can enjoy cheap yet delicious food all day and night. But watch your utensils. You may be given a fork and spoon, but it is only the spoon that touches one's mouth. Also, chopsticks are only to be used when eating Chinese dishes. <laughs> 10. Never... <laughs> so I was even wrong for chopsticks, my nigga. So you basically have to use your uh, fingers, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Whistle at night. Ties will be cut. Oh, no whistling at night. I remember this in my culture, way back in Uganda. I also have this thing like, okay, the thing is like uh, when you whistle at night, uh, that you're calling like the spirits of the dead. That's what they regard it to. But I don't know if it's right. But let me, let me, let me uh, listen to what the Thailand uh, people have about whistling very uneasy if they hear a whistle after dark as they believe that whistling at night is bad luck because you are calling the evil spirits. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yes. 11. Don't let a tuk-tuk driver take you to a gem shop. This is one of the biggest scams in the tourist areas of Thailand. <laughs> so basically every area has uh, scammers, you feel me? Every area has scammers, so hey. As y'all listen, don't let to uh, it took a what? What do they call you? Let me. Because you are calling the evil spirits. Eleven. Don't let a tuk-tuk driver take you to a gem shop. This is one of the biggest scams in the tourist areas of Thailand. Drivers will try to persuade you to visit a special gem shop, often a dodgy kickback shop where tourists are harassed. In extreme cases, they are sometimes drugged and are cheated out of money in exchange for fake jewelry. 12. Don't shake hands. Ties do not like to have personal contact when greeting. Whoa, so hey, y'all know uh, because of this corona, you feel me? Miss Corona is in the building, so hey, the Thailands, the Thailands are cool with it, you feel me? No hugging, wait, it was no hugging, right? Was that part of it? Yeah, no hugging the, uh, the marks, right? Either than that, no shaking hands, so the Thailand people are already like, they already have like these certain precautions for, for Corona, man. So, you feel me? That's, that's legit. Strangers. Rather, they place both of their open palms together at chest height and bow slightly. Do not bow to children or a person of lower status, however, as you would be embarrassing them. If you are greeting a person of high importance, bow slightly deeper. Now that you know how to properly respect the Thai culture, you can enjoy some of the most welcoming and hospitable people in the world. But hey, thank y'all for watching the video. That was the end of the video. Um, <clears throat> if you ended, 
If you made it to the end of this video, man, make sure y'all smash the like button. Subscribe, please get me to 10,000 subscribers. And um, what else? Share this video, follow me on Instagram. And um, thank you for watching. I love you and see you in my next video.